Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. Here's the latest weather briefing. Here it is Wednesday, January 31st, last day of the month. Two Pacific storms expected to impact Southern California. Uh, the first one is Thursday, rain starting early Thursday morning. Heaviest uh, during mid to late morning on Thursday and another round in the afternoon. A few showers linger on Friday. We got dry conditions Saturday. Next, light rain comes in on Sunday with the bulk of that storm number two looking like it's going to be on Monday and Tuesday with widespread significant rain. Some of that rain should linger into Wednesday of midweek. Here's some of the details. Okay, uh, across Southwest California, a lot of this rain is beneficial. We are much below normal for the exception being places like Santa Barbara from December rain and San Diego City from January 22nd. Take a look at these maps closely. Uh, we're still about 50% of average for places across the San Bernardino Mountains, areas that average uh, 30 to 40 inches of rain. This is the outlook. I mentioned uh, Thursday's the problem day, and then next week, Monday and Tuesday are the problem days with too much rain, with steady rain, and even rain heavy at times. It's gonna be a pretty good break in between. We've got three problems on Thursday, high winds along the coast, threat for lightning, and then of course the two rounds of heavy rain, one in the morning on Thursday and one in mid-afternoon. Next week is a different problem, different type of storm. These are the highlights, take a look at these closely. I just mentioned the Thursday rain starting late Wednesday night, rain during the commute on Thursday, uh, but the heaviest rain in the morning hours, especially mid to late morning hours. And again, a repeat uh, with a burst of rain in the afternoon on Thursday. Strong south winds, threat of lightning. Uh, we transition into snow being a problem Thursday evening behind the strong cold front. Uh, and those snow showers continue Thursday night into Friday morning with accumulations down around 5,000 feet. Uh, we have some dry weather on Saturday. Light rain returns on Sunday. The snow levels rise significantly. Significant precipitation with round two atmospheric river for Monday and Tuesday of next week. And that rain will linger into Wednesday. The heaviest looks like Monday and Tuesday for Southern California. Okay, for the big picture of things, here's the precipitation totals, totals expected over the next seven days. You can see Southwest California, uh, widespread two to four inches. This is two storms. Uh, this is a slow moving storm next week with even more in the mountain ranges. The scale is there for your reference. What's causing this? Well, storm number one is going to swing through quickly on February 1st, Thursday. It's got some good cold air, brings the jet stream across Southern California. We get a break, okay, uh, and the next storm starts to take shape on Saturday and Sunday. So our main break is Saturday in SoCal. The active weather, the rain, starts to come back into Southern California Sunday night and certainly Monday and it'll linger into Tuesday. That's round two, the next storm. I'm referring to Southern California only. Rain will begin earlier in Northern California and could be heavy as early as Sunday. Okay, the storm does linger because it's slow moving. Here I'm showing February 6th where it's still around. Okay, so we do expect Significant rain still occurring on Tuesday, February 6th. When we get to Wednesday, um, it's not through. It's right over top of us, but it does become more showery or intermittent. Uh, we do get some dry weather expected. At least that's what's looking like right, right now uh, for the middle or the second week of February. Upper level ridge of high pressure will eventually build in for the following weekend. Okay, uh, the jet stream is a very important player just like it was on January 22nd. It is here. It's carving across Southern California Thursday, driving a strong cold front with wind and heavy rain. Uh, it's well east of here, goes across the Southern United States, uh, and then we reshape into a new jet stream setting up uh, for Sunday, and then especially early next week, Monday and Tuesday. The first storm uh, with the rain returning on Thursday definitely has an atmospheric river. It's already, as I talk, in Northern California. It'll swing down into Southern California Thursday morning as shown here. 
we do expect significant water runoff, and this will affect rivers like the San Diego River that is predicted to go over flood stage as shown here. Rainfall for storm number one looks like this. Uh, almost everywhere, one to one and a half inches, with locally a little bit more. Uh, this rain is going to really come down hard on Thursday. We'll see less rain in the deserts. Um, in some of our mountain areas, a little bit more, uh, with locally around three inches in some of the favored mountain areas. But by far and large, you can see the orange and yellow all the way down along the coastal areas between one and two inches of rain, most of it Thursday. Okay, here I have an animation of the rain coming in. So keep in mind, this is a simulation of weather radar. We'll let it loop a couple times. We can see a couple things here. Rain coming in late Wednesday night, early Thursday, so wet commute Thursday. Then you can see the rain turns heavy, the yellow banded orange areas, mid to late morning. And then another round in the afternoon between 1 and 3 o'clock. We'll let it loop one more time for you. Rain coming in late Wednesday night, Thursday morning, widespread during the commute, heavy mid-late morning, and then one more round in the afternoon. Okay, I'm not expecting a lot of rain Thursday night and Friday. The main problem Thursday night and Friday is snow in the elevations above 5,000 feet. Mostly shower activity, mostly nuisance type of showers, lighter showers for San Diego County. Wind will be a problem with storm number one coming up from the south. I've got arrows pointed along the coast because that's where we expect some significant winds in the yellow shaded. 35, 40 mile per hour winds. When? Thursday morning. Uh, the wind will shift to the afternoon uh, and then really become more of a westerly wind, breezy along the coast and beaches, but then the stronger, more problematic winds shift into the mountains and especially the desert slopes Thursday night uh, and Friday morning. There will be snow accumulation, like I said, uh, above 5,000 feet. So our mountain communities will quick, quick shot of snow uh, as shown here. So winter travel conditions, especially Thursday night and Friday morning. Winter travel conditions, so chains uh, definitely carry them because chain control likely will be in effect. The next system is also an atmospheric river and it's slow moving. I've got uh, an image here showing it coming in on Sunday to central California, shifting to central, south central, and then eventually southern California next week as early as Monday. Uh, and it looks like this atmospheric river will last into Tuesday of next week in Southern California. So I'm showing it here for rain developing on Sunday in Southern California, light rain, uh, the heavier rain developing Sunday night and continuing Monday and possibly at times continuing into Tuesday, slow moving storm. That's the difference with this one. Um, this shows the big picture of things, anomalously wet weather uh, with storm number one coming in. Storm number two lingers into the first week of February as shown in the green. Green means wetter than usual. Hey, but mid-February we got orange and brown shaded, uh, which gives us a break. Uh, far out there, um, but the next potential storm is for the last part or mid to late February as shown here. No details on that yet. Um, it hasn't really even formed, um, but just giving a heads up outlook here. These are the highlights. Make sure you understand that Thursday's commute is wet, heavy rain bursts will come through, potential for thunderstorm and strong winds during the morning hours on Thursday. Another round in the afternoon affecting coastal areas and valley areas, I-15, I-5. We do get a break um, on Saturday uh, and more precipitation returns lightly on Sunday with the significant steady precipitation, significant precipitation meaning a couple inches expected all areas for Monday and Tuesday of next week. And we can see you know, even double that amount for our mountain areas. This is a mild, slow moving storm, southwest winds coming in Sunday night and Monday. Some of that precipitation could last into midweek next week. The main 
significant precipitation next week right now is looking like Sunday night through Tuesday. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Check the latest forecast at weather.gov.